Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I will hopefully be reading in August. I can't believe, like, August is here. Like, it seems like yesterday it was like January. It's August. Crazy. Um, so today I have 16 books picked out that I would love to read in August. We'll see if I get to them. Okay, I have some buddy reads, some series I want to continue, some Kindle Unlimited reads. So let's get into these 16 books. I first want to mention my buddy reads that I have planned with people. So first is Accidental Attachment by Max Monroe. Care from Booked for a Romance texted me one day saying that this book has disability rep and she thought I would like it and it's been on my TBR ever since. And so this is a book that I'm going to be buddy reading with Tori over at Novel Life. We want to buddy read a book with chronic illness or disability rep. I'm not sure what the representation is, um, but it sounds really good. The ratings are really good for this book. It looks like this is about a woman named Brooke. She is 31, but she's going through some things. She's going through a divorce, a career change, a move to New York City from a very small town. And she has a medical condition that involves a case Occasional fainting spells, mild embarrassment, and the companionship of her adorable service dog and canine sidekick, Benji. Okay, so there's gonna be a service dog in here. Y'all know I love service dogs. Okay, but none of this prepared her for Chase Dawson. Oh, so it looks like he is her editor. She is a successful, um, I believe, paranormal romance author. And uh, she accidentally sent the wrong manuscript to her editor and Chase just so happens to be set editor. It sounds really good. I hope that Tori and I love this. I'm very excited to buddy read this with Tori. I love buddy reading with her. And I just really hope that the chronic illness representation is done well. It sounds like she has fainting spells. So maybe she has pots. I don't know. My other buddy read for August is Taken to Sasor by uh, Elizabeth Stevens. This is the third book in the Severi Mates series. This is an alien romance series, sci-fi romance series that Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages and I have been buddy reading. Um, and I think this is the last book in the series out that has an audiobook. All the other books in the series are only on KU. I don't know what this book is about, who it's about, but Tiff and I have been loving this series so much. They are fantastic, fantastic sci-fi romance books. If you love like fantasy romance, this series will definitely quench your thirst for a fantasy romance series. Um, but it's not fantasy, it's sci-fi. So if you want to dip your toe into the sci-fi genre, I definitely recommend these alien romances. They are so good. They are dark at times. There is trauma involved but they also incorporate some of my favorite things ever in romances like the faded mate trope and just a few other things but um i really enjoy this series and i can't wait to buddy read this one with tiff i always love buddy reading anything with her um but we're hopefully gonna be reading like one of these books like a month um until we're finished with the series we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one we had so much fun buddy reading book two together. I do have a few arcs I need to read. I think I only have one on this list. Yeah, I have one arc that I need to read, which is Second Chance with His Viking by Sarah Rohde. Um, this is a Viking romance and it's a marriage of convenience. Prince Tion married the Viking chief's daughter, Ravina, to prevent a war only to leave immediately to fight another one. Now he's returned to claim his crown. He's stunned to discover the love his people have for Ravenna and by the intensity of their unexpected connection. Tion tells himself he only needs Ravenna as an ally until the passion of their belated wedding night promises they could do so much more. Okay, um, I've only really read Lucy Morris's Viking romances and I love those so I kind of wanted to dip my toe into another Viking romance author. Um, so I will hopefully really enjoy this one. And this one needs to be read I think by September or something if I'm not mistaken. So um, I need to read it in August. Next I have Mantras and Minotaurs by Ashley Bennett. This is the third book in her Leviathan Fitness series. The most recent release, it came out towards the end of July, but I haven't picked it up yet. I am very excited to read this one. I think this is a single mom, older couple romance. And if you don't know, the Leviathan Fitness series is a monster romance series that I love to categorize as cute but hot. Okay, it's cute 
but holy crap, it's also hot at the same time, okay? Don't let the cute factor deter you. Basically, it takes place in our world, but if monsters also exist and there's like a monster gym, like a monster runs and owns this gym, that's Atlas from book one. And um, he really wants to incorporate more humans to coming into the gym um, because they want to just be as friendly as possible. And so each book in the series is about someone who like either goes or works at the gym, one of the monsters, and then falling in love with a human. Um, I really enjoy the first two books and I can't wait to read this one. Then I have a book that I haven't really heard anybody talk about but I love to just go on Amazon every now and then and search tropes that I'm wanting to pick up and see what books pop up and so I am in the accidental pregnancy surprise baby mood and so this one popped up. <laughs> it's called Purple Orchids by Samantha Christie. The ratings for this one are really good. It has almost 10,000 ratings and it's an over four star rating and so that says a lot about the book. This one is about Gavin and Baylor and years ago they think the other person like betrayed them and broke them basically and it's a second chance romance friends to love friends to lovers to enemies to friends to lovers <laughs> and in quotation marks it says yeah it's messy. <laughs> All I know is that this has accidental or surprise baby in it and I'm in that mood. Then I have one that I just really wanna read. I heard it has anxiety representation, if I'm not mistaken. This is Whiskey Business by Elliot Fletcher. This is also a uh, grumpy sunshine romance. This is the romance between April and Malcolm. So April's always dreamed of escaping her very quiet, quiet island to go and become a very famous actress. But nowadays her once like flourishing career is kind of down in the dumps. And so she really wants to go back to where it all began, where her dreams all began, in and um, see if that spark ignites again. So she goes back to that very small island and I think tries to help her family's uh, dying like whiskey distillery business. But when she goes back home, she finds Malcolm short-tempered and exceedingly attractive living in the home that she just inherited. That gives me vibes of Romancing the Duke by Tessa Dare. Like <laughs> it just does. It takes place in Scotland, but this isn't a historical romance. But that cover just reeled me in and the fact that it's a grumpy sunshine, sold. Then I have A Lie for a Lie by Helena Hunting. I've heard great things about this series. I believe this is the second generation to her Pucked series, which I really enjoy. And I think that this series is like a fan favorite among Helena Hunting readers and I love Helena Hunting's books. So I just want to pick this one up. I don't know what this one is about, but the audiobook is gonna be available for me on Libby. I'm gonna go in blind. Um, I have heard really good things about this series. And again, I'm in the accidental pregnancy mood. And I think one of the books in this series is accidental pregnancy. So if I really like this one, I might just like marathon all the other ones. I really want to finish author like backlist that I love. And the only book I have left to read by Cara Bastone is this one. This is Flirting With Forever. I have no idea what it's about. Um, but this is the last book I have to read by Cara Bastone until I can say that I've read her entire backlist. I think she's only written like seven, six books, but I really enjoy this series. Um, she's the one who's written a lot of those like fun, like audiobooks that are on um, Audible that are free to like listen to if you have Audible. It has like the dual narration, the background noise, like graphic audios basically. But she's also written like a contemporary romance series that I really enjoyed. And this is the last one that I have to read. It turns out this is the romance between John and Mary and they have to get in a fake dating relationship for their own respective reasons. But it then turns into like a real friendship and then they find out that they have some really hot chemistry together. And I also read in the back that it's like a summer read, which is perfect for ending summer. So sad, so sad. Um, but yeah, I really want to just complete this series finally. I would also love to continue on with the Taryn Soul series by C.L. Wilson. This is a fantasy romance series that I'm absolutely obsessed with, dealing with fated mates and magical powers and the chosen one, destiny. Like, it's so good. It's so good. Um, and this is book four out of, I believe five? Yes, five books. Um, these are fantasy romance books, the Taryn Soul series are five romance books all about the same couple trying to like find out what's going on with these fantasy creatures and there's a big bad evil going on and then they're also trying to figure out like their mating bond like hmm, it's so good i can't really talk about this book but eliseta and rain in here are the couple and i adore them and i need more people to read this fantasy romance series if you love epic high fantasy like fantasy romance books 
pick up the Terran Soul series, please. The audiobooks are also like fantastic. We're continuing on with trying to complete some series. So the last book currently out in the Between Dawn and Dusk series by Jamie Schlosser is The Fey Warrior's Princess. And so I really want to pick that up to say that I've completed that series. This is another fantasy romance book, but we'll see how this one goes because this book is giving me Renesmee vibes. <laughs> like from Renesmee and Jacob vibes. <laughs> Twilight. This is the fourth book in this series, the fantasy romance series. And in this fey realm, um, you basically have this thing where you can find your fated mate by looking to, into their eyes for the first time. Um, that's how you know that they're your fated mate. The hero and the heroine from book one in the series, uh, I think their names are Quinn and Curian, they end up having a baby daughter. And the hero of the Fae Warriors Princess, this book, is actually Kyrian the King's like right hand bodyguard man. And the first time he sees the baby, he knows that that's gonna be his fated mate when she grows up. And so he immediately is like, I gotta get out of here and basically disappears and doesn't come back to the fantasy romance realm that they're in for a little bit until the heroine is like all grown up and she's like, why did this guy leave? Um, and it turns out they're fated mates. So it's giving me like Renesmee Jacob vibes. I think he also like maybe becomes your like bodyguard or something. Sounds very interesting, um, but we'll see how much I enjoy this. Then I would love to read Relationship Goals by Christina C. Jones. I want to pick up another Christina C. Jones and this one is available to me on Libby. A lot of her books are. And so I just wanted to pick another one up by her. I also think that this book has chronic illness rep. I believe it has sickle cell rep. Um, so I have never read the representation. So I would love to pick that up to read about that. I honestly don't really know what it's about. The summer in Goodreads is very vague, but I just want to read more Christina C. Jones books. So let me know uh, what you think about this book down below, please. I would love to know. Then another <laughs> series I would love to continue is the uh, Wanton Dairy Maid trilogy by Tessa Dare, which is her first published series. This is book two, which is Surrender of a Siren. I read Goddess of the Hunt last month and um, gave it 3.5 stars. It was fine, but I really want to continue in the series. I want to say that I've read all of Tessa Dare's books because I'm a Tessa Dare girly, okay? Um, I don't even know what this one's about. I'm assuming we met both these characters in book one. Oh, I remember. Okay, so Sophia in here is one of the characters in book one. She's the heroine from books one, book one's best friend, and she really wants to travel the world and paint. Um, because she's a very talented artist and it turns out um, Grey in here is only like known for sailing the seas for pleasure and profit but then he meets Sophia and just becomes utterly enchanted by her and her artwork and the rest goes from there. I hope you really like this one. Um, let me know what your favorite book in this series is. I just purchased book three as well. I'm only missing book one in this series so I need to find that. So let me know which one is your favorite and if like I should jump into book three immediately after reading book two. Another book that I would love to pick up is a little novella. I've been wanting to read this book for quite a long time. This is The Four Leaf by Lee Jacquo. Jacquo? Oh, I am butchering that. I'm so sorry. Um, but this is the first book and like her uh, like novella series dealing with holidays but like very loosely dealing with holidays. I read uh, Cupid's Peak for the first round of our novella of on earlier this year and I loved that one. So I need to pick up just more in this series. I think she even came out with like a Mother's Day one, which is so cool. So I'm assuming this has to do with like St. Patrick's Day or something because it's the four leaf, but I don't really know what this is about at all. All I know is that it's hot, it's short. I think it has like, um, like, I forget what it's called, where like, you get hot and bothered by chasing somebody. I don't really remember what that's called, um, but everyone like loves this novella. So I need to pick it up. I love putting novellas on my TBRs because it just like is a great little palette cleanser. If I don't really know what to pick up, I'll be like, oh, I'll just pick up that novella really quick so I don't get slumpy. That's like one of my main reasons why I love novellas. It helps me not become slumpy. So another novella that I would love to pick up is The Stranger in Seat 8B by Nikki Castle, which I know is a Grumpy Sunshine novella. I've never read Nikki Castle, but Tori, my lovely friend Tori, like is her ultimate cheerleader and she loves this author and I really want to pick up one of her books. So I'm going to start out with her novella. I think this is a romance that takes place on an airplane and it's a short little novella and that's all I know. <laughs> um, but I love Grumpy Sunshine romances, so I feel like I'm really going to enjoy this novella. Then another novella that I would love to pick up is Ghoul by Layla Fay. Um, I just want to I think I just want to read one Layla Fay book like a month until I get caught up on her books. She's been coming out with books like 
crazy. So um, I don't really even know what this one is about. This one says, the hunt has begun and I am the prey. The newspapers call him Ghoul. He is a serial killer responsible for murdering countless female victims. They say he eats you. <laughs> they say he eats human flesh, bites off chunks of body tissue and has inhumanely sharp teeth, his eyes flashing white in the dark. They call him a monster, a demon, a beast. Some claim he isn't human. So when I walk in on Ghoul sending over another victim and licking her blood off his knife, I don't stop to think, I run. Then Ghoul gives chase. That sounds dark, <laughs> very dark. But I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. A lot of the thing always like makes me cackle and laugh. So I need to pick this one up. And the last one that I have is an alien romance. I think every month I wanna pick up a like new alien romance author or an alien romance book so I can just like widen my horizons because as you can see, I read a lot from the same alien romance author. <laughs> like the same like five I need to find more you know um so I decided to pick up my alien captor by Lyra Stark this is the first book in the Horned Warriors series one second I'm working three jobs trying to get by in Los Angeles the next I'm tied up in a dark cave with a terrifying purple brute <laughs> then his horns start changing color and he's getting a little too frisky with his blades I plan to run from him and find my way back to Earth, but is it so wrong if I hope he catches me? Mm. A fragile female doesn't belong on this planet. The dangers are too great. She will be hunted and bred if she stays. My selfish desire is to claim her as mine, but that will only lead to her death. But the wee lass has taken my heart captive and she may be the only one to set it free. It says that this romance is featuring a morally gray alien Highlander and his feisty human mate. That sounds really fun. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the 16 books that I will hopefully be reading in August. Um, my job is starting back up in August, so school year is starting back up. So we'll see how many books I'm able to uh, read because <laughs> I start work back up literally on the 1st of August. So let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the butterfly emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Thank you.